Now that kids are back in school, we want to arm them with the tools to handle bullies and also make sure that we as parents are able to help them along the way. Renee Serwinski is a licensed mental health counselor with Pacific Medical Centers here to kind of walk us through this. Thank you for being here. Thank you for asking. First of all, bullying, is it a bigger problem now than it used to be or are we just hearing more about it? I don't know if it's necessarily a bigger problem. I think the biggest difference now is with the internet. The bullying doesn't just take place at school during school hours. Mm -hmm. It takes place now at home in the evenings, on the weekends, and can be even worse once they do get home and have better access to kind of the unlimited social media that's out there. Yeah, it is everywhere. It is everywhere. Oftentimes we're reactive to bullies or bullying. How can we work to prevent it or to take steps now that could stop it? I think the best way to do it is, you know, working with your own children and letting them know kind of how to be empathetic to somebody and understand feelings and emotions. Um, give them a chance to explain about what's happening for them if they're feeling, you know, stressed or overwhelmed, why they notice something happening, encouraging them if they see something to say something. Mm -hmm. um, and then just know that, you know, it, it's not just a phase that happens, it, it is serious and we have to really take it serious. What should we tell our kids if faced with a bully? So, you know, I talked a moment ago about arming them with the right tools. Mm -hmm. um, we do wanna teach them to be assertive and not aggressive. So making sure like if they're in a situation, maybe say at school to be able to say something like, you know, uh, I don't like the way that you're treating me and loud enough so that maybe someone else overhears. Um, you want to teach them how it is okay to walk away and kind of step away from a situation that can be dangerous. Um, and that, it, you know, as much as kids, younger kids and teens don't want to involve the adults, they really need to, to make sure that everyone is safe. Um, and then it is okay to talk about it. So you're saying empower them. Empower to them to steps. do it, mm -hmm. absolutely. What are some signs that a child may be being bullied? Um, things to really watch out for is any increased anxiety, stomach aches or any illnesses that I don't want to go to school and you know that they're they're fake. Um, a child kind of rushing to go to the bathroom as soon as they get home because they held it all day because they didn't want to go to the bathroom for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. um, any missing money. Um, if they're avoidant of kind of going online to do things and then crying when they are. Um, or even if you can notice, you know, kids pick up a phone and all of a sudden they have a reaction and they put it down. Ask what it is. Yeah, so be inquisitive. And what are some steps that parents or caregivers can take if you're noticing any of this, these signs? What is the first thing you should do? Validate your child's feelings um, about what's happening and let them know like you understand there's nothing wrong with feeling upset about kind of how they're being treated. Um, undivided attention, you know, as much as we're all busy with everything, um, we get caught up in so many other things, but sit down with them and actually talk to them, shut off everything else. And then ask them, be really kind of open-ended, you know, not just how was your day, but, you know, what's happening at school? You know, is there something that's upsetting you? And is there anything that you want to talk about? There is that kind of thing where you can't involve the school. Go to the administrators, talk to the teachers. They are on your side. They want your kids to have a safe, you know, school environment to be in, to be able to learn. Um, and if it's taking place on social media in that, there are other things that you can do. A lot of social media sites will have ways to kind of make a complaint to stop someone from being aggressive or harassing. And you can, you go to a police department and file harassment charges if someone is harassing you through social media and the telephone and other ways. Oh, so there are resources out there. Make sure that you're armed with the tools and information as well Absolutely. to stop this if you can. Great information. Appreciate your time. Renee no problem. Sawinski. Thank you. And if you would like to see more of our Healthy Living segments, just go to q13fox.com slash healthy living.